Welcome back to the 40 Day Media channel. Today we're going to be taking this corn that I grew from seed and transplanting it to the ground. Um, if you're interested in stuff like that, I mean, stick around. We're getting ready to get started with that. And please help me out and subscribe to the channel. It lets YouTube know that you kind of like this video and videos that I kind of make, and that'll help me out a lot. So stay tuned. We're getting ready to transplant corn that we grew from seed into the ground. you decided to stay that's awesome so let's hop right into it um, I want to first show you the seeds that I used and for this one I used the burpee sweet corn they were 75 seeds for two dollars and 49 cents fam come on you can't beat that so um, next to the corn I have the masculine sweet salad mix and that was $1.99 for two grams. And the masculine seeds are kind of cool because I probably have to just show you up close. They're kind of cool because they just look like mixed up, like old dried out trail mix. <laughs> but um, now we're gonna move over to the green beans. And the green beans are just lovely. Fam, I'm always falling behind in the garden like it just grows up and some of the soil will still be stuck on it. I'm always falling behind out here fam because life continues and it does its thing and I have to also do my thing and sometimes I don't have time and I'll have to do this and do that and then I'll come back and for instance, I'm, I'm speaking of the devil, I'll come back and things have sprouted. I don't know where to actually put it but they'll sprout it and it busted out. This is green squash and i put it in here a couple days ago and i had stuff to do and i was like okay this will give me time and I, while it's germinating i can make a bed for it and by the time i came out like two or three days later it's done this to itself and i don't have a bed for it <laughs> yet so i'm rushing to do that you know i'll give you an inter or tell you an interesting story about these seeds these seeds i found loose just random on the floor in lowe's like it wasn't in any packaging it was just like loose on the floor so i picked them up and um it was three of them i believe one yeah i think three of them and i just threw it in here and let it germinate and as you can see it's doing well and i gotta hurt and get these in the ground because if and that's what i've been doing is keeping them open in the day and at night i close it so it can stay moist because they're ready to go on the ground. And if I keep it closed, I'm gonna steam them and I don't wanna steam them. So um, yeah, so I don't know what these are. <laughs> I found them on the floor. They were three loose seeds and they were all the same. Um, so I don't know, mystery seeds. All right, so um, kind of showed you what these were. Did I talk about these? I don't know if I did, but these are the green beans. I got this for $1.69 and there are 28 grams in this. Those are the three seeds just for these. I have been putting all kind of stuff in here. Over here is garlic and this is dill and this is cilantro. I had other stuff in here as well. And as they grow randomly in their own time, like these I should have been had in the ground, but um, I try to get to the ones that are just like bursting out. So I'm gonna have to find somewhere for these three to go right away. Now, with that being said, I have groundhogs, y'all. I have groundhogs, I got moles, I got bulls, I got rabbits here, um, there are deer here. One poor baby got trapped in the yard and was busting his little face up against the fence and me and Malik was trying to get him out and we was like, no, don't hurt it. Malik was like, I want him running into me. All I'm saying is this, like the hooves oh. on the deer are like razor sharp. I know. And I'm not trying to get hit by that thing. You see what I'm saying? It was crazy. Like poor thing did get out, but I felt so bad for it because its whole face was just hanging because it was busted up. No. Oh, poor 
more thing. But yeah, we got kind of a lot of variety of things that like to eat my stuff. So the masculine I'm not putting in the ground. I have a little blue tub over there that I'm going to put the masculine in. And um, hopefully I can get it deep enough and, um, you know, it'll still grow. All right. So now really quick. We're getting ready to go over to the soil. I do have a small space next to some potatoes that I just um, put in the ground. If you want to know how I did that, you got to check out my grow potatoes from potatoes video. And in that one, I just showed how I cut them and let them dry and put them in the ground. And my first time doing it, so we're going to see what happens. So if you want to check that out, go ahead and check that out. And um, I'm going to put these, this like corn right next to those. And um, so the way I'm going to do it though, to get it out, the hexagon is little um, spoon. And just literally push it to the side and kind of just loosen it and scoop it. But before I do anything to it, I'm going to wet it. And once the soil is wet and I have it kind of moist and more, you know, loose and ready to come out without damaging the root then we'll get them out and in the ground. So let's do it. Luckily for me, my husband, who is a great support on all my projects, just got home. Diving right in, you'll see him here using the rake to level out the soil. The four holes you see on the left, well, I'm using those as a gauge. I'll try to stay even with them as I dig across 12 more holes, creating a grid with 16 holes total. We'll let hubby finish up while I get some food scraps ready, which I'll mix with some garden soil by Stay Green and some topsoil by Garden Pro. Then we'll add it all to the existing soil, beefing up its nutrients. Oh yeah, spread it on. <laughs> we swap hubby's rate for a cultivator to maximize our efforts, and I'm just chopping food scraps and leveling a bit more. We can cover more ground now by adding topsoil and make up for it by replenishing with nutrient-rich soil and fertilizer over time. I've already begun separating the roots. We have dry soil and full sun. So we're setting these about six inches in the ground. Then we collapse the dirt towards the center and press firmly in a circular manner until the plant sits snug and upright. Here's a close up of me separating the roots. It's extremely important that you preserve the roots. Using a simple but effective plastic spoon, I'm gently easing my way straight down the side, opposite side of where the plant is growing, as deep as I can get it before I make that hook action to scoop everything up. And don't be afraid to touch and move stuff around to make sure you're not damaging anything before you tug on it. When transplanting, I always moisten the soil in the container and let it drain while I get other things prepped. That way, I'm working with soil that is loose, not muddy, yet firm. So let's divide these roots. You don't have to use much effort for these roots. A simple tug kind of sets them free to untangle on their own. See how they come together in a spiral at the bottom? Try your best not to break that. Honestly, if you just give a tiny tug to these roots, you'll see that they'll loosen themselves and you'll pretty much have all the work done for you. You're pretty much just holding them up. Cool, I didn't break that one. This time. <laughs> yeah, it happens. Only 13 seedlings actually sprouted, but we had 16 holes. So I threw in a couple more seeds just to balance things out. Well, it's about time and I'll be wrapping it up for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Hopefully transferring corn seedlings to the ground appears to be much easier to you than before you started your research. I also hope that this video inspires those who've always wanted to get out there and get their hands dirty in the garden to just get out there. You can mess up and kill stuff and start over, honestly. Gardening is one of the few things in life that is so forgiving when you make a mistake because seeds, water, and dirt are very inexpensive and sunlight, well, it's free. You just gotta bring your own imagination and elbow grease. Only thing left to do now is water them. We want our corn to retain the proper amount of moisture, so we're going to soak the soil slowly and deeply for this first time. Also because I like looking at the light reflecting off the water and creating beautiful rainbows. Rainbows are symbols of God's covenant to never flood the earth again. And every time I see one, it makes me smile, reminding me of his promise to us.